six races, six different winners, but those six race tracks have all been on oval track. Uh, on oval track. Here we're gonna go to a road course. It's a 2.5 mile road course. It's located in Colorado. It is Denver Speedway. Welcome everyone to to the Spray 200 here. Dirty cars are gonna take it across the field today. Across big track. Don't get confused by, by the extra road course. This race track features a lot of things. It has it has wide in, in, in wide and tight corners here. You can go from about three wide to two wide, or maybe even four wide to two wide. We do have we do have some right turns here, right and left turns. And here are our expectations. I don't think we're going to see a lot of spins today, but we are going to see a couple. And I think Charles spots, Charles spots are in are in turn four, six, and seven. And what I mean by that is that turn four, six, and seven are, are the most narrow parts of the racetrack. You can see right here at how narrow these parts of the racetrack are in comparison. We we are going around around this way, the straight the straightaways. And we are not taking the extra course. The extra course is gonna be, is gonna be for, for when we come back here for the the, the Sony 200, as you can see. Anyway, I think I think the guys to watch out for are like your road course favorites. So I'm Holland, Tony, and Marcus Ambrose are definitely the best favorites. Uh, we got Greg Biffle is also a favorite. Brad Kozlowski is definitely a favorite, but you gotta watch out for Carl Edwards as well. Carl Edwards. Well, might be the guy to steal this. It's going to be a very exciting race today. Here is the starting lineup. Oh yeah, and, and where the yellow line is, you're probably not going to be uh, on the yellow line. Anyway, on the first row, Juan Juan Antonio Marcus Arrow. Second row, B Kurt Busch and Ricky Stones Jr. Third row, Carl Edwards and Dale Jr. Fourth row, Biffle, Kislowski. Fifth row, Hamlin, Johnson. Sixth row, Kyle Busch and Casey Kane. Seventh row, Kevin. Matt Kenza with Jeff Ryan, 8th row, Kevin Harvick and, and J Gordon, 5th row, Jared Bain, and wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9th row, Jared Bain, Cliff Lawyer, 10th row, H.G. Almodier, and Sam Orsteer, 12th row, Dan Kachuk, Bobby Bonnie, 13th row, uh, actually, this is the 12th row, uh, sorry about that, Tony Stewart and Paul Menard. 13th row. Aaron Turks, Jerry Michael Walchip. 14th row. Legon McBurney. 15th row. Eric Arnold and Mary New. It's going to be an exciting race today. And I'm sorry about that confusing starting lineup. Anyway, let's get ready for the green flag. Farmers, start your engines! Here we go! Let's run it! I want to release it to the green flag! Here we go. We got some three wides going on. Here goes Long Hall Montoya. He's gonna put the first lap, and Junior's gonna get loose, and so is Kyle Bush. Here goes Long Hall Montoya. There's, there's at least, there's the main in the field, or at least some of it. Marcus Mark Sanders is second, and Greg Biffle's gonna make a three wide pass and get in third place. Impressive for Greg Biffle. Here we go. He's gonna have to put Marcus Ambrose. Oh yeah, correct! Tony Stewart, Paul Bernard! The caution is at lap two. All the cars that have at least some kind of damage are making regular pit stops. Mr. and Paul and I were able to get out of the gravel or mud. Here's the answer. Mark Trick Stewart just turns Tony Stewart into Patrick and into, into Menard. Anyway, we'll be right back with the caution summary. Welcome back. After a minor crash, we are now getting ready back for the green flag here. It'll be lap four out of eight. And here is the rest of the field. And you can see that Paul Menard, Tony Stewart, and Patrick made pit stops for damage. Daniel Patrick had, had fender damage. And Tony Stewart, Paul Menard just came in for tires. 
we are not going to get ready back un underway so the green flag has just been lifted and let's get back underway here it'll be exciting green flag oh no Kislowski he gets Terminate Edwards he's going to save it though Kislowski is really mad he turns Edwards and it's on to the outside wall gets to the kids and gets to the point now we got a big crash here man 14 cars I believe oh my I knew it oh no the red flag is thrown instantly Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. That Gazowski just turns Carl Edwards. A familiar riv rivalry has taken place here at the Sprite 200. I can't believe it. Good. I'll have to watch them and see how they look. <laughs> uh, so many cars have taken out of that race. I can't believe it. I'm sorry you heard that voice. Voice in the in the background. Someone's filming my voice and is going to put it on Facebook. Call it was really mad at Kislowski. And Jeff Burton and Mackensip. Call it's Jeff Burton and Mackensip are all chased drivers. Those are the 14 cars out of the race. And here is the instant replay. The first instant replay. You can see Carl Edwards just turns Kazowski. I'm more keen. Sorry about that voice again. And then Carl Kazowski retaliates and Kiz turns to Carl Edwards. And Carl Edwards goes hard into the wall at 101 miles per hour. And then you just see this big crash come on. And some cars really got loose when they tried using the extra tracker right there. Right, and they just crashes really hard. Creates a lot of smoke and more trucks Waited and slipped by. Now, these guys had ha, 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 ha answered at Des Moines. You can see right here, Kazask was, was the pool center, and, and, and this was a three wide start. And, the, and they say, and the guy, and in the comments of that race, the guy who did Rekazowski said, No, I cut him off. Anyway, we're back, right back with the caution summary. Welcome back after a massive crash like that. <laughs> that took out 14 cars and ties the record for most of the cars involved. In a race. Unfortunately, that was a really hard crash, and unfortunately, probably for the next race, we'll probably add safety restrictions. Make sure that crash there happens again. When Carl Edwards got turned by Brad Keselowski, I don't know how hard that crash was yet, but Carl Edwards went into that inside wall at about 150 miles per hour. Or you can just, pre or you can at least pretend that. Yep, so that'll be. So that's considered the hardest crash in the Lowe's Cup series. Even harder one, even harder than Rakizowski crashing into the barrels at TAS. Anyway, we got that out of the way. One of the things that's supposed to happen today is we're supposed to get like a big spray ball or spray can in the crowd today. But you can see there, there isn't. We'll make sure how how next season. But anyway, I think the if I get in there, the green flag is just lifted, so let's get back underway. Let's go back underway for the restart. I think this is lap six here. So we're gonna really get full lap. We're gonna finish the lap. And we're gonna go all the way to Ricky Stiles Jr. Here we go. He's gonna get by. He's gonna try chasing Drake Bill, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be happening. And here goes Red Gazowski making a pass. Red Gazowski looks pretty strong. Here we go, final lap. Greg Biffle leads the field. He's really good through this corner. Red Gazowski's keeping in tempo with him. But can he Gazowski catch him? He makes the pass under the yellow line. And Gazowski will win the race. Unbelievable. A last lap pass by Brad Gazowski. That pass was legal. It wasn't illegal. So Brad Gazowski isn't going to get penalized or anything. The guy who signed up for Brad Gazowski really wanted to win it, and that is what I did. Congratulations, congratulations to Brad Kozlowski, and he's just his main right now, and he uses part of the track that we use when we come back here. Congrats to Andrew Simpkins. Here's the fish order. Our next race, we'll be going to Illinois. Bye.